What is up guys, and today I'm going to be looking at Limbo. So Limbo is one of the most underplayed and underused Warframes in the game, and I would argue for pretty much no reason, as I'm going to mention a few arguments. One, he can be pretty much invincible forever until his rift goes down. Second off, he can increase his damage whilst in that rift, whereas enemies don't get that increase of damage. Thirdly, he can make enemies completely irrelevant, because you can put them in the rift and they can't touch you. And fourthly, he can heal people with augments and stuff like that. Now, I have got a clip of myself and all other Limbos in a raid over here. We decided that we'd put a squad together to do a Limbo-only raid, which was very, very difficult, but we managed to get it done. Now, in here we was using tactics like splitting enemies up by putting them in the rift, whereas we wouldn't be. For example, the, cat the Cataclysm that you saw a minute ago. That was blocking off a whole lot of enemies, which was protecting people. As well as we would sometimes go in the rift, depending if we had other enemies in the rift, because we was excluding them for the majority of it. As well as we were healing people with an augment called Banish. Uh, called uh, Haven, sorry, not not Banish, that's the name of the ability. Um, and this was really, really useful, as in the first part, obviously, you take that constant toxin damage. Now, the build that I'm going to be using wasn't the one that I used in the raid, however, it is slightly similar. In the raid variant, I had both of the casting mods, because I needed it as a panic button, whereas in my actual build, I'm only going to be using natural talent, because I believe it is useful um, when casting Cataclysm, as well as Riftwalk, as it does take quite a while to cast without some. So, the other stuff that I'm going to be using in the build is I'm going to be using a few ranger mods, I'm going to be using Cunning Drift and Stretch, just to give me a little bit of range. You don't really want overextended, as... Um, as it will kind of limit the strength that you have, so you won't be able to kill enemies with Cataclysm and Banish. As well as, uh... As well as the range will be too big for Cataclysm, so it may be annoying for your teammates. The other mods that I'll be using is I'm going to be using a lot, lot, lot of duration mods. I'd pretty much put on as much duration as you can fit on there. Uh, myself, I'm running the max, however, if you don't have a max narrow-minded and stuff like that, I would still try and put on as much as you can, as it is very useful. And as you can see, we just killed Vayheg there. And, uh, yeah, we somehow managed to get that done. It only took us about an hour, which is quite good for an all limbo raid, but, yep, there we go. Um, going back onto the build, I'm going to be using Corrosive Projection. However, you could switch this out for a Energy Siphon, which I don't think is that useful. Just because you get energy naturally whilst you're in the rift. Then I'm going to be using Vitality and Quick Thinking. If you wanted to, you could take out one of these, and or both, uh, depending on how much you're going to be jumping around and avoiding enemy hits. Uh, however, I like to have them both on there, as obviously he doesn't have that big of an energy pool, so the quick thinking isn't that useful, however I like having it on there just as backup to Vitality. Haven, which is the augment, like I said, whenever you cast Banish on an enemy, it will respawn 25% of their health, which is very, very useful. However, you could switch this out for maybe some strength mods if you wanted to, because Cataclysm, when you cast it, can actually kill stuff. I wouldn't recommend it. A friend of mine does run a 299% um, power strength limbo, but it doesn't really kill as much as any of the other DPS frames, so I wouldn't really recommend that. You could switch it out for a prime flow if you wanted to, likewise for the, for the uh, duration mods, as well as maybe something else, like a utility mod, but that's about it, guys, and peace.